Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam. Today's video is going to be my favorite hair care and skincare products of 2021. It's literally the end of January and I feel like I am a little bit late in the game trying to get these up, but I was out for like two straight weeks just not having it. So we're here, we're gonna continue putting them up and if you don't like that then I don't really care. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about skincare and hair care, so if you want to know what my favorites were in 2021, then just keep watching. So we're going to start just kind of general, we're going to start with skin, and then we'll go into kind of body care, and then we'll go into hair care. So for skin, my favorite face wash, this has been my favorite for a while, but in 2021, girl... The Calendula Face Wash from Kiehl's is an absolute staple, because it just, it's so good. It's really gentle, it foams, it's a gel, it's a gel to foaming cleanser. So it comes out as a gel and then it foams up. Super, super gentle, super soft. It smells really, really nice, not heavily fragranced. It's all natural products. It has the calendula petals in it, which are gonna help kind of with redness and irritation. And we all know that because of my guinea pig, like I do get a lot of redness and I get a lot of irritation. And the calendula line has really, really helped with all of that. Going off of the calendula line, we're just going to kind of go in a row here. The toner is really, really nice as well. I don't use it too, too much, but I did want to just kind of touch on it because in terms of redness and irritation, I use this a lot when I get really bad flare-ups with cilantro. Um, I just kind of pop that on and it calms it down really nicely. The other piece of that line that I cannot rave enough about is the calendula mask, and it's a really nice gel mask. You leave it on for 10 minutes. It hydrates your skin. It smells really good. It it looks kind of funky. It has the calendula petals in it, but it is literally the nicest mask I've ever used. Like truly top-notch hydration mask. Like if you're looking for a good one, start there. It's fantastic. We're going to kind of keep in the Kiehl's line right now. So my favorite moisturizer of 2021, my favorite moisturizer in general, this is a life staple, okay? I use it on my face, on my body. The Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream is literally the best. Like I, oh, I have super sensitive oily skin and when I kind of add new products into the mix my skin does freak out a little bit so when I started using this a few years back I was like oh god like it's gonna clog pores it's gonna do all the bad stuff and literally it just goes on my skin and hydrates it's truly the best thing especially for the winter it's just so good it goes underneath your skin to your hydration barrier to strengthen it I just look at me using all my keels terminology damn but it's just a really good moisturizer, it doesn't clog pores, super run-of-the-mill, but very hydrating, very soft, super lightweight. It's just one of my absolute favorite moisturizers, 10 out of 10. So between my face wash and my moisturizer, I love doing an oil. I've been really dry lately, and using this NYX oil primer has literally saved my life. I don't remember why I started using it, but I started using it as like a hydration thing instead of a primer, and let me tell you, it changed the game for my skin. Like dry patches and all that, gone. That oil is fantastic. I went through one bottle, I'm almost done with my second bottle. Like it is literally a game changer and I am obsessed. So NYX brought out these facial mists with these beautiful, beautiful misters. It's like a super lightweight, just like you know, it's not like a very gentle, very soft. They're all kind of cannabis related. The first one came out when their whole um, Bear With Me cannabis line sort of came out like two or three years ago. And I went through maybe three bottles of that spray. It's supposed to be a setting spray, but it's really more of like a refreshing skin mist. Um, and then they brought out another one maybe a year and a half ago. And I've gone through two or three bottles of that one too. Absolutely fantastic. I love after I like do my whole skincare, I love to lock it in with that spray. They're only like $10 and I just, I'm obsessed. The last skincare product products were from Pacifica and I talked about a couple of these in my least favorites but these were just they deserve a video of their own honestly like they're just so good the body wash from the acne line is just fantastic it has salicylic it has aloe it's such a good body scrub and honestly it really does help kind of get rid of all of my body acne I'm on my second tub almost done with it about to open my third and i will continue to purchase it because it is fantastic and it has done so so much for my body acne to the point where like i feel comfortable showing my shoulders or like wearing a more low-cut shirt to kind of 
you know, because the acne's not there anymore, so I have nothing to hide, you know? Not that you should be, like, embarrassed about it, but, like, it just makes me, like, uncomfortable, you know? I hate it. I hate looking at it, and I hate having people look at it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want people to see it, because I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? And then the other product from that line is their little, um, acne gel. It's just, like, a little spot dry-out gel that you pop on whatever pimple, it dries it out and gets rid of it. I take that and I go heavy all over my shoulders, my chest, and then my back. And I wake up the next morning and it's pretty much gone. Like, it's just such a good power duo for body acne. I just, it's just so good. It's my favorite. I can't. In terms of body care, there are only two lines that I just really loved in 2021. Both of them are from Bath & Body Works, so chill out but the first one is their blueberry wellness collection they don't make it anymore and i don't know why but it was absolutely just fantastic i don't know why they took it away because it was so nice so gentle so soft smelling it had that blueberry smell but it wasn't overpowering the body butter the lotion the body wash and then they had a hair mask with it too it was just such a good line and then they discontinued it and oh god i loved it i loved that stuff body butter fantastic. And then the other scent from Bath & Body Works that I used a bunch in 2021 was the Sweet Whiskey line. They had a celestial body scrub and it's like a glittery purple body scrub. It was such a musky but like sweet scent. I just I loved it so much. It was all purple. It was a very like sexy undertone. Like that was just a really good scent. I used it had like a glitter lotion and a glitter spray and a body moisturizer and the scrub and the wash and the whole nine like it was just fantastic. The last two things I want to mention are for hair so I on a whim I think this was during Black Friday bought the Revlon blow dry brush where it's like a blow dryer but it's like a round brush and girl let me tell you that thing has saved my life. Cuts down hair drying time by like half. Brushes your hair gives you like a blowout. It's it's so good it's so good I got it on sale for like $20 and I bought it because I was working with this girl and she had just these beautiful bouncy roots her hair was gorgeous it looked all blown out and I was like what do you do and she pointed at the brush and she was like it's all that and I was like and I bought it and I haven't looked back. I have not looked back. It is my best friend and I love it. And in conjunction with that, I love using the r Co spray, the thickening spray from the Dallas collection. Girl, let me tell you, if you have fine, thin hair that's kind of stuck to your head, it's flat, it's dull, whatever, the thickening spray is going to bounce it up a little bit and I'm obsessed. It is so, so good. So if you're looking for something to floof up the hair, those two products together, and that is it for my body hair skin care favorites of 2021 there were not that many but i did just kind of want to make a separate video for all of them because really really enjoyed using all of them and i'm excited to see what 2022 brings in terms of hair care and skin care and body care because right now like there's a lot of newness there's a lot of new stuff and I'm excited to see what sticks you know what I'm saying like I'm trying to see like what am I gonna fall in love with this year I don't know I'm excited so there you go but yeah I hope you guys liked it if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one bye